PC. So for today's video, I did a one brand makeup tutorial featuring Essence Cosmetics. And I did this glowy, simple, neutral makeup look. It will be perfect if you live on the other side of the world where it is currently summer. And still definitely rock this regardless of the season you're in. Like right now, we are currently in winter in Australia and I can definitely still rock this because it's like so versatile and simple. But yeah, if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to be taking the Essence Day All Day 16 Hour Foundation. So I'm just going to be putting that on my face. I think this is a bit too pink for my skin tone. I am not sure if I got the right shade. Um, I don't think I did. I think it looks too pink. But we will just work through this. And go into my skin. Mm. It's not too bad. I think it's just still a tad pink. But the finish of this is more like satin finish. So it's pretty good. I'm not into dewy foundations. It's because I do have oily skin. And like when I wear dewy foundations, it's going to be like a ball of mess at the end of the day. And then I'm going to be taking this Essence Match Cover Concealer. I actually broke this. But I'm going to be taking this one right here. And you guys can see how dirty this is. Applying that under eyes to cover my dark circles because I haven't had proper sleep in so long because my body clock is just destroyed since it's holidays i sleep really late and it's really bad then i'm just going to be putting that wherever like you just spot conceal i've been having hormonal breakouts lately and it's ugh, i'm going to be filling in my brows using the essence eyebrow designer pencil this fully brush just so it doesn't look so harsh and then I'm gonna be taking the Essence Quattro eyeshadow and I'm gonna be taking the medium brown and use that as the blending shade I actually don't know the brands are from Essence but if you do you can definitely use that as the transition shade also And just apply that on the outer V just to deepen the crease a little bit. You don't want to like apply too much shadow or pigment on the area because you don't want it to look too smoky. And then I'm going to be taking the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter with my fingers. I'm just going to dip my fingers in there and apply it on my lid mainly on the first half of my lid and then with a flat shader brush i'm going to be taking the medium brown and apply that on my lower lashes create like a wing liner using the eyeshadow this bit doesn't need to be perfect because you just kind of want to have that smoked out effect then i'm going to be taking the essence eyeliner pen and I'm just going to create a line. I'm not going to do a wing. And then I am taking this white frost shade right here. And apply that underneath my brows just to highlight my brow bone. And I'm going to be coloring my eyelashes. Ooh, where's the rubber? Like, why is this not coming? Hmm. Oh, there you go. He fell in my lap. Wait. Why is it even falling off, though? And I'm going to be using the Essence Get Big Lashes. I have tried so many Essence mascaras before because they are affordable. But this is the only one that really worked well for me. Don't have setting powder from Essence, so 
I can definitely see him. I can see the creasing anytime soon. Then, what do I do next? I don't have a bronzer, so I'm going to be taking the matte shade from the palette, of course. And that's what I'm going to be using to contour my cheekbones. I, the reason why I don't have a bronzer from Essence is because most of their bronzers are very warm toned and I don't want a contouring shade that is warm so I didn't get any. I'm using the Essence Silky Touch blush in the shade Autumn Peach. This is one of my favorite blushes, really really nice peachy coral color and it's not matte which I like and perfect for this glowy look and then this is like the exciting bitch about this tutorial is the highlighting because it is like a glowy highlighted look I'm going to be using the same Essence So Glow Cream to powder highlighter first as a base so I'm going to be putting that on my on the tip of my nose make sure that that's highlighted and you know, just the bridge of my nose. And then applying it again on my eyes if it has lost some intensity when I was blending it before. And then applying it on my cheeks using my fingers, of course. And I'm also going to apply this on my inner tear duct. And this will just highlight the eyes and make them appear much brighter. I'm taking this Essence Nude Eyeshadow. I believe that's why it's called. I it has rubbed off already, but this is in the shade Creme Brulee. This is one of my favorite um, highlighting products. Actually, this is meant to be an eyeshadow, but it's pretty big and like it's such an amazing highlighting product as well. And I just put that where I want to get highlighted. of my cheeks of course are you blended yet <laughs> girl yes just apply as much as you want because no one's gonna stop you apply a QSO again and in a tea dump And then now I'm going to be taking this lip liner. This is in the shade Cute Pink. And Essence lip liners are the best, you guys. It's just so amazing. I think this is like the best product they have. And yeah, I have every single shade because they're only like $2. I've also used these as like lipsticks because they're so creamy. Be applying this Essence lipstick in the shade All About Cupcake. I believe this is discontinued now because they came out with their new line of lipstick. And I'm also going to be taking this Essence Glossy Lip Balm just to intensify the gloss on my lips. And that is all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. That is all and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.